Nikola Jokic is doing things on a nightly basis that are far from normal. The 25-year-old 7-footer from Serbia possesses a unique playstyle unlike anyone we've seen before, drawing praise from all across the league. Let's take a look at what some current NBA players and legends think of the Joker, which is the topic of this video. Number 10. LeBron James LeBron has never been shy about praising players he thinks highly of around the league, and Jokic is no exception. Relatively unknown for the first couple of seasons of his career, Jokic's status within the league has skyrocketed since 2016. After competing against Jokic in the 2020 Western Conference Finals, James got a first-hand look at one of the league's budding stars. Although James did point out Jokic's lack of speed and defensive ability as an area to exploit during the series, he had nothing but praise for the Serbian big man following their five-game battle. James commended Jokic for his team-first mentality, highlighting how he always makes sure to get his teammates involved with playmaking ability. Nikola has always looked up to LeBron, calling him the best player in the league even at age 36. While LeBron may be ending his reign of terror league-wide sooner rather than later, Nikola is only getting started. Number 9. Kevin Durant Kevin Durant has been an MVP candidate year in and year out since his early days in Oklahoma City, so it's safe to say he knows an MVP caliber player when he sees one. After Nikola Jokic broke out onto the scene in late 2016, Kevin Durant was one of the first players to notice. Following a game against Jokic on November 6, 2017, Durant praised Jokic's game, saying that his feel for the game for a young player is different. He's built differently. He later added that Jokic would be a force for a long time. Durant has gone on to praise the Joker several more times, lauding him for his crazy vision and ability to dominate the game in so many different ways. Even though Durant is now in the Eastern Conference, him and Jokic will continue to battle it out for years to come, as both players are MVP candidates in the prime of their careers. Number 8. Dirk Nowitzki Since entering the league, Nikola Jokic has made it clear that Dirk Nowitzki is one of his idols, even modeling parts of his game after him. Jokic, like Nowitzki, has begun to develop his own one-legged jump shot which is nearly unguardable, like the latter's. While the similarities between their games can be seen on a nightly basis, Jokic is significantly better than Dirk was at one thing, passing the rock. While Dirk averaged less than three assists per game over the course of his career, Jokic has averaged an absurd seven assists per game over the last two seasons. For a big man with his size and skill, that's unheard of. Nowitzki, who paved the way for international superstars in the NBA, has great respect for Jokic, admiring his unselfish play style and unique approach to the game. When asked about Jokic, Nowitzki responded by stating, His passing is so good. It's a joke. I unfortunately always wanted to score and not pass. If Jokic can keep up his current level of play, he and Dirk may have more in common down the road. Number 7. Chauncey Billups the 2004 Finals MVP and current ESPN analyst has some high praise for Jokic, comparing him to one of the best passing big men of all time. Billups compared Jokic to a prime Arvidas Sabonis, stating that the pair's passing ability is second to none. While Sabonis only averaged around two assists per game during his seven-year NBA stint, his passing ability for a player that size had never been seen before. Now enter Jokic, who's averaging over 7 assists per game over the last two seasons, and you've got the makings of a player who's redefining what it means to be a center in the NBA. One has to wonder which 7-footer can throw the prettier pass. Fortunately, Jokic provides highlight reel assists on a nightly basis, so we get to witness beauty frequently. Number 6. Doc Rivers while Doc Rivers has never had the opportunity to coach Jokic, this did not stop the former Clippers and current Sixers head coach from handing out one of the best compliments for Jokic, stating that he's the best passing big that I've seen, I think ever. Pretty high praise from a guy who's had almost 35 years of NBA experience between coaching and playing. Rivers went even further and likened Jokic's footwork to NBA legend Hakeem Olajuwon. While this compliment by Rivers may have caught a few by surprise, it's not a coincidence that Jokic's playstyle is being compared to Hall of Fame players like Olajuwon. Hakeem the Dream had his patented step up and under post move. Jokic had his one-legged off-balance turnaround. Maybe it's a sign of things to come? What do you guys think? Will Jokic be a Hall of Famer one day? Will his unique style of play be enough to vault him against the greats? Let us know in the comments section below. Number 5. Paul Millsap while Nikola Jokic has a long way to go before entering the GOAT conversation, that didn't stop his teammate Paul Millsap from comparing him to another GOAT, Tom Brady. Millsap compared Brady's skill as a quarterback to Jokic's on the basketball court, telling reports that he's like a quarterback out there. While this is the most notable comment Millsap had about his teammate, he's also had some unique comments as well. 
Back in late 2020, Millsap compared Jokic's passing ability and court vision to hamburgers. He told a reporter, I mean the guy's just throwing cheeseburgers. Free cheeseburgers, grab as many as you can. Playing with a guy like that, it's unbelievable. That has to be one of the more unique comments ever made in recent memory. Although we'll just take him for his word. Millsap has been a huge part of Nikola's development, as Paul was originally seen as the alpha dog when he signed with the Nuggets in 2017, but has since pushed Jokic to become the leader of the team. Jokic has assumed the alpha dog role now, and Paul has been with him every step of the way to support him. It's clear that Paul is one of Nikola's closest friends and a great mentor to him as well. Number 4. DeAndre Ayton while Aiden and Jokic have taken two very different paths to the NBA, that has not stopped them from becoming fiercely competitive friends. Aiden was the number one pick back in 2018, while Jokic was a largely unknown second round pick back in 2014. Both had some early flashes of brilliance and have since only gotten better. Aiden complimented Jokic earlier this year, expressing that, I always look up to him and try to take things from him and just try to learn from it and put it in my game as well. I love competing against him. We talk here and there while we're battling, it's just good spirits. Aiton stated that Jokic's greatness makes me want to keep working harder and harder. While these two centers have drastically different styles of play, their impact on the court is undeniable. Both Aiton and Jokic have been very complimentary to each other, as they are the future of the Western Conference. Number 3. Mike Miller Mike Miller, the former sharpshooter and three-time NBA champion, gave Jokic his nickname the Joker. During his two seasons with the team, he gave him this nickname due to Jokic's lightheartedness and jokes that fill the locker room. The two have a very strong relationship, with Miller serving as a mentor for Jokic during his first couple seasons in the league. What impresses Miller most about Jokic is his passing ability and impact on the game beyond the stat sheet. Back in 2016, Miller said this about Jokic's game, Nobody else has it. The closest thing I can think of right now is Marc Gasol. He can dominate the game with 8 points, 15 rebounds, and 10 assists. He's a special talent. When you think of most players dominating the game, it's usually by scoring. But there are a handful of players who can take over a game for stretches without scoring a single bucket. Miller feels that Jokic is one of those players, which is why he's one of the most valuable players in the league. It's clear that Nikola has a great relationship with his mentors, which is where a lot of his leadership and early career success likely comes from. Players who are willing to learn and listen from veteran mentors are much more likely to assume leadership roles earlier in their careers because they understand the value of being a mentor and want to be that same presence to younger players on the team. Pretty soon, Jokic may be a three-time champion himself. Number 2. Richard Jefferson Jefferson is a big fan of Jokic's game. As an analyst on ESPN, Jefferson has complimented him numerous times praising his unique ability to pass, space the floor, and impact the game in so many different ways. Jefferson even said, he's the best big man in the league. Everything is built around him. He's special. He's one of the five best passers in the NBA at any position. When you think of the primary ball handlers in this league, Chris Paul, Stephen Curry, Trey Young, Luka Doncic, and to hear Nikola Jokic in the same conversation is mind-blowing. Jefferson loves Nikola's leadership, attributing the Nuggets' success in the last few seasons to his willingness to step up and lead the team in crucial moments. While Jefferson was critical of Jokic's passive play at times, he's been encouraged by recent playoff performances and clutch shots. Jefferson was even part of the same locker room for a short period of time back in 2017. So it's fairly certain that the former NBA champion played a big role in helping Jokic get to where he is today. Number 1. Michael Porter Jr. Durability is often taken for granted in sports, except when players are unavailable due to injury or for other reasons. For Nikola Jokic, durability has always been his thing, as he's played in over 95% of his games during his five-year career. Michael Porter Jr., while not the most durable player himself, complimented Jokic's consistency and presence on the floor, and said that Nikola can always be counted on every night, that you know what he's going to bring, and that he's so durable. Half the battle in sports is staying healthy. So if the Nuggets are going to bring a championship back to Denver in the future, they're going to need both of these guys healthy and ready to go. Fortunately, they already have one in Jokic, who's becoming one of the most durable, versatile stars that we've seen in a long time. Where do you rank the Joker amongst NBA players today? Is he a legitimate superstar and future Hall of Famer in the making, or just a star with an extremely unique ability to score and pass the ball? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more NBA content.